Have you seen Eleanor's new facelift? Oh, facelift, please. More like a facial launch. <laughs> Kitty, isn't that your daughter-in-law? Oh, yes, yes, that's Dama. We gave her a junior membership to the club as an anniversary gift. I will make a Montgomery of her yet. <laughs> Who's that with her, your maid? No. Oh, I think it is. Now, what is her name? Cicely. Celia, and it's not her. <laughs> you didn't even look. I looked, and it's not her. Dama! Celia! Hey! Come join us! Oh, God. Why, <laughs> well, she can grow friends! Come, sit, sit. Isn't it wonderful that Dama brought your maid to the country club? Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it safe to leave our stuff over at the other table? Fine, exactly. What are you doing here? Lunching at the club, darling. <laughs> Plus, we had a lot of errands to run for Celia's wedding, and this was convenient. You're getting married? Yes. But I'm not taking any time off. <laughs> Wait until you meet her fiance. He is H O T Caliente. Huh? Look who it is. It's my favorite wife yeah. and my favorite mother. And Celia, who Dama brought to lunch. <laughs> well, that's all I need to know. Bye. <laughs> And then the discussion turned to the menu for Celia's wedding, at which point your wife... That's me. <laughs> ...invited the busboy... As a food professional... <laughs> ...to join our table. Well, who else knows better what people eat and what they leave on their plate than a busboy? Oh. <laughs> Gregory, please, would you explain to Dharma why it is inappropriate for her to invite my maid to have lunch at my country club? But first, explain to your mother that her maid is also a human being. Oh, for God's sakes, I know she's a human being. <laughs> Dama has got to understand it's easier if we maintain separate social lives. Don't you explain anything. I'm not talking to your mother. <laughs> Please, Dama, I try to respect your life, your values. I don't go among your friends and chop down trees and hand out meat. <laughs> Am I not right, Gregory? Mother, I really don't... awkward because you're making it awkward there is no reason why celia can't be your employee and your friend the woman obviously does not want to be my friend oh you're upset because she didn't invite you to the wedding oh please that's ridiculous do you two need me anymore no no Bye. <laughs> you are you're upset don't hide your feelings kitty i am not upset I am surprised. The woman has worked for me for, for 15 years. The least she could do is extend an invitation. I'm sure she didn't invite you because she didn't think you'd go, and she didn't want it to look like she was hitting you up for a gift. Oh. Well, I suppose that's possible. You know what? Why don't you go, find Celia, tell her that you really care about her and that you would love to share in the joy of her wedding? You know what? I'll do it. <laughs> I don't want that woman at my wedding. It's supposed to be a happy day. Come on. I'm begging you, Celia. For me. Oh, all right. For you. But you keep that sour puss of her out of my pictures. That's okay. I don't think she shows up on film anyway. <laughs> And uh, so I would be very honored if you would come to my wedding this Saturday. Really? This Saturday? That's awfully short notice, isn't it? <laughs> She'd love to. <laughs> Dristan, relieve mas sintomas. <laughs> Dristan is Dristan in Spanish. Yeah, but it's pronounced Dristan. Ah, Dristan. Dristan. Stop it, both of you. <laughs> Now, where are we? Well, according to the map, we're on Eisenhower Street, but all the signs say Benito Juarez Boulevard. Juarez! Juarez! Buenos dias, Senor Juarez! I swear I'm going to knock your heads together. <laughs> Montgomery. Oh, hi, Pete. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I completely forgot. Can it wait till Monday? 
Excuse me, fellas. Do you know where St. Catherine's Church is? Dama, put that window up. Oh, relax, kitty. Donde esta Iglesia Santa Catherine? Hey, uh, kitty. Dama, we are in a very dangerous neighborhood, and I would prefer not to be on the evening news. Now, just leave that window up. Hey, you put the child lock on. <laughs> Okay, I'm on my way to a wedding. It's, uh, can you bring the papers there? Great. It's St. Catherine's. It's on um, the corner of Cesar Chavez and Fourth. Cuatro. Last <laughs> great guys, little help! Celia, <laughs> 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 what's wrong? I... Everything is a mess. The people who were supposed to park the cars, they quit. Why? They thought they heard gunfires, and they ran away. Gunfire? <laughs> it was firecrackers from the Chinese kids. They're taking over this neighborhood. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. Greg and I will take over parking the cars. What? Fine, it'll be fun. We get to wear vests. No, 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 Dharma. You are a guest. No, 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 no. Celia, don't worry about it. Go on. Go get married. We'll miss the ceremony. Oh, come on, Greg. This could be our gift to Celia. Well, what about the uh, Sex for Seniors video? <laughs> Give it to your mom. It'll freak her out on so many levels. <laughs> here we go. Hi. I'll take it from here. You're the valet? You don't get one of these vests for juggling taters. <laughs> ah, ready. Gregory, what are you doing? Uh, we're, uh... Valet parking cars, Mother. It's oh. our gift to Celia. God's sake, say something, Edward. Leave the seat where it is and don't monkey with the radio. <laughs> no, 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 Greg! You can't just hang the key anywhere. There's a system. What's the system? Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. That's not gonna work. Oh, and the people come out, you just see what sign they are and you grab their key. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, Aries? That's right. You're driving a Taurus. It's a wonder you got here at all. <laughs> Work near Saturn. It'll help balance them out. Hey, guys. Wasn't that a beautiful ceremony? What are you doing here? We're friends. She invited us. What do you think of our outfits? <laughs> It's a small world after all. <laughs> it's the traditional wedding garb of Celia's country. Well, it's almost traditional. We're wearing underwear. Yeah. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> um, Dharma, Dharma, why don't you let me park this? Why? Because it's a Ferrari and you have to know how to drive it. Have you ever driven one? No. So why should you get to drive it? Because I'm a guy isn't going to work, is it? Not unless you have to park it with your penis. <laughs> I'll be back in a flash. Oh, yeah, baby. Growl for mama. Hey, is it all right if I leave my car there? I got to... I got to get a camera. <laughs> Give me the papers. Oh, yeah, sure. Just like that. What the hell are you doing? It's a long story. Dharma wanted to help out Celia. Excuse me. Welcome. Thank you. Greg? Inez, I, <laughs> I, I didn't know you were coming. Oh, I flew in for my aunt's wedding. How have you been? Fine. I, <laughs> I thought you were going to college someday, maybe be a lawyer. Or... I did. I, I am. I, I, I really, I'm just uh, doing this as a, as a gift for your aunt. Hey, pal, uh, that change was in my ashtray. I want it back now. Hey. Uh, it's OK. Maybe someday a dream will come true. That's, um, my wife. <laughs> oh, this is my husband, Fernando. Fernando, this is Gregory, el hijo del jefe de mi tia Celia. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. It's great to see you again. You too. Thanks. Who's that? Oh, uh, Inez. She's Celia's niece. She, uh, spent a summer at our house years ago when I was a kid. Inez? Today I am a man, Inez? Pete, have you met my wife, Dharma? What, she was your first? Yeah, yeah, she was. Wow, you go, boy. How was that? Uh, it was a long time ago. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, right. I, I was an inexperienced teenager. She was a little older, and it just it happened. That's not what you told me. 
What about the pool house and Gregory, no mas, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Why, <laughs> it's okay, it's wonderful. Your first time was so passionate. And uh, so international. Is she a virgin too? I don't, I don't know, you'd have to ask her. Okay. Honey, no, figure of speech. <laughs> right, no, no, listen. Mmm, this is very good. What did you say it is? Chimijojos. <laughs> the national dish of your country. Chimijojos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, it is. I'm sure your mother used to get up early and pound the cornmeal and mix it with the vegetables that grew in that rich volcanic soil. My mother was a dentist. <laughs> Well, you have lovely teeth. <laughs> Hello. How do you do? I'm Kitty Montgomery, employer of the bride. <laughs> oh, so you are Kitty Montgomery. Esta es la loca. <laughs> you know I don't speak Spanish. What, what, what was that? Oh, uh, Celia speaks of you often. Ah, oh, all good, I hope. Oh, yes, really good. <laughs> So, how are you all acquainted with my lovely Celia? Oh, uh, she and I taught high school together in our country. I'm sorry, Celia taught high school? Yes, uh, literature huh. and mathematics. Oh. And she also fought with Yolanda and Marta in the resistance. Really? <laughs> exactly what, what did she do? But, you know, I, I, I don't know the word for it in English, but um, she would hide up in a tree and shoot people with a rifle. <laughs> Sniper. <laughs> I understand that knockout over there was a guest in your house for a while back. Yes, lovely girl. She taught Greg to tango. <laughs> she sure did. They used to do it in the living room while his mother and I watched. <laughs> what? Oh, you, you mean tango. No, I was talking about when they had sex. Inez had sex with my son? <laughs> Oyeme, él está hablando de tu mujer con el hijo de este señor. Le digo a quién es. Excuse me. Uh, my friend would like to know who your son is. Oh, he's the fellow outside parking cars. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> él dice el que estaciona los carros. El valet. <laughs> no, valet. You know, if uh, I'm going to get my car, I should probably do it now. Where have you been? Napa. <laughs> oh, my God, Greg, let's forget about buying a house. Let's save up for one of these. Dharma, just park the car. Oh, the car doesn't like to be parked. The car likes to go fast. How fast were you going? Um, I don't know. But I got a little nosebleed. How could you, Greg? How could you tell people stories about us? What? I... Hi! I'm Dharma, Greg's wife. I just really want to thank you for bringing him into manhood. <laughs> you told this to your wife? Well, it kind of oh. came up in conversation. I told Fernando I was a virgin on the day we got married. Now he wants to kill you and divorce me. What? That's ridiculous. Well, maybe, maybe you should explain to him that the emphasis on physical virginity has been forced upon him by patriarchal culture and it shouldn't be confused with spiritual purity. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> now, I demand you go in there and tell him the truth. Inez, I, I... Be a man. Then maybe someday you'll be more than a parking valet. <laughs> what does she mean, tell him the truth? Nothing. Let's go home. Oh, great. Well, when I when I when I told Pete the story, I um I kind of left out that I finished a bit before Inez did. Oh, that's okay. Actually, a, a lot before. Really? How much before? Well, she came over and she was slowly unbuttoning my shirt. Yeah. Right then. <laughs> Keep the story that way. It's so much cuter. Dharma men don't swap cute stories about sexual inadequacy. Well, no matter what, I think you should go in there and tell her husband. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna have to do it sooner or later, and since sooner is your specialty. Hey. Ease up, quick draw. It was a joke. 
Anything? <laughs> That's the last one. Oh. <sighs> oh, when you tell the story, be sure not to rush it. <laughs> Hello, darling. Are you ready again? Because I am. Ow! Oh, hey, kitty. Want to pull some G's? No, thank you. Suck in a butt. What's the matter? Nothing. Well, if you're trying to kill yourself, hop in. I can make it a lot quicker. Dama, tell me, truthfully, am I a bad person? No. But when you blow smoke out of your nose, you're scary like a dragon. <laughs> Celia has, has been in my house for years. She knows every intimate detail about my life, and I don't know anything about hers. Kitty, you gave her a good job, which helped put her daughter through college. She has a daughter? <laughs> you know, Kitty, it's not too late to get to know Celia and try to be friends. I don't know. I'm, I'm not ready. Well, why don't you get in? We'll go for a spin. You can think about it. In this? Oh, yeah. Come on. Hop in. Oh. Uh, it is rather sporty. <laughs> sporty? <laughs> no. Oh. Jogging bras are sporty, Kitty Montgomery. <laughs> this is a Ferrari. Excuse me, senor. ¿Cómo te atreves a hablarme después de lo que le hiciste a mi esposa? Let me explain. Yo te debería matar aquí mismo. Oh, why did I take French? Uh, can anybody here help me translate? Uh, I can. What would you like to say? Uh, <laughs> Would you please tell this man that... Yes? Um, <laughs> that, 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 that although, although he thinks I, I walked in his garden and, uh, and picked his flower, that, that in truth I, I did not. El señor dice que aunque tú piensas que caminó por tu jardín y cortó tu flor, la verdad es que no lo hizo. ¿Y por qué hace alarde de que cortó la flor? He wants to know then why you boast of picking the flower. Uh, because when, when, when men tell tales of their youth, they will, uh, they will claim to have picked flowers that they never even smelled. I saw, same saw. <laughs> Porque cuando los hombres hablan de su juventud, a veces pretenden haber cortado flores que nunca vieron. Si él dice que no estaba en el jardín, es un mentiroso. Are you saying you have never been to the garden because then you are a liar? No, 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 I, I, I was there. Um, it's just that um, in, in my enthusiasm uh, for the beauty of the garden, I... I finished my visit before I even... Open the gate. No, 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 no. Estuve ahí, pero mi entusiasmo por la belleza del jardín terminé mi visita antes de abrir el portón. ¿Qué? What? Uh, no, I, I got that. Um, uh, okay, uh, how's this? Um, uh, here's the flower and um, here's me. Uh, la flor, eh, el señor. Uh, Whoops. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, how'd it go? Great, I learned the Spanish word for whoops is whoops. <laughs> You're here to me share this too. day with me. Me too. Having all my friends here makes it so special. Mm. Good evening, Mrs. Montgomery. <laughs> Celia, Kitty has something she would like to say to you. Yeah, yes. Well, um... What she wants you to know is that she, she really cares about you and she wants you two to have a closer relationship. She wants to be buds. <laughs> <laughs> what did you really want to say? Um, Celia, um... Whenever we are not home and you have a day off, feel free to use the pool. Thank you, Mrs. Montgomery. 
Uh, no guests and don't run the heater. <laughs> of course, Mr. Montgomery. And, and thank you for letting me share this special day. Flowers. See you Monday, Mrs. Montgomery. Bye, Celia. do it every time she vacuums. Wait. Uh, where are we going? Well, let's see if we can get to Nevada and back before they toss the bouquet. May I drive? No! I, I'm sure she just parked it somewhere safe that's far away. I'm sure of that. You're a Sagittarius, aren't you? This is sex. This is fun. 